your moment to declare your love before all your family and your friends. And I know that that is so important to the two of you. So I've got some very important questions though before we can get on with the, the business of the hand fasting. Because I really, really need to know that you're all here to, to be part of what I've just described. And I'm just wondering if you can answer some questions for me. To make it a wee bit easier, I'm going to tell you what the answers are first. So the answer to both of the questions is a big resounding we are. So if you are happy for Shari and Alex to be married, let's hear it. We are. And are you content to be supporting them as they take this first step in their married lives together? We are. Thank goodness for that. We can get on with the rest of the ceremony now, which is just fantastic. Uh, love and marriage for Alex and Shari means having a friend for life. Someone who will stand by you through all your highs and lows. The love that you will have for this person will of course be completely unconditional. And I know that you two feel blessed in having met the person you can only <coughs> describe as your soulmate. So we'll come to the important part of the ceremony where the two of you will exchange your vows of love and commitment to each other. Now, Shari and Alex have chosen to use some Celtic symbolism because we're here in Scotland as part of their ceremony. So I'm going to involve a hand fast. So I'm going to bind their hands together with a piece of tartan. Back in the day, that used to be what was called tying the knot. I'm sure you've heard that expression. But it's about wrapping your hands together and making some vows as part of that. And it's very significant because it symbolises the joining together of two people who are meant to be together. It transcends many, many cultures. It's even in the Chinese culture, for example. But like the wee red thread in your tartan here, Alex, the red thread of destiny goes along the, the tail that two lovers who are meant to be together are joined by that red thread of destiny. It can stretch and get tangled through the ups and downs that we all face at times in life, but it never ever breaks. And it always serves to, to hold the two of you very closely together. So it's with all these lovely thoughts we, we, we enter into the hand fasting ceremony and the two of you are also going to use a casting stone you've got your names engraved on a stone and that stone's been waiting for this moment for eons thousands of years perhaps and that stone will hold the memories of today as well and again that's got a good expression you've heard casting stone all these things <coughs> come from these rituals in the past so i'm now going to ask that one of the girls takes your lovely flowers Bye. 
honour and respect each other and seek to never break that honour. each other. My soul knew you, my heart knew you, and for the first time in a long time it all came alive again. It all started with a cup of coffee and about 20 sugars, <laughs> a 16 hour shift, and um, ever since it's been perfect. And you're my soulmate and my best friend and the only person I want to grow old with. And when I see my future, in our life, it's always you by my side. Exactly three years ago today, I held you in my arms.
best friend, your confidant, and your one true love. Whether we're rich or poor, I promise you happiness. I will celebrate with you during times of joy and happiness. And I'll comfort you during times of joy. I will love and care for you in sickness and in health. I will love, respect, and Alex, you have bound yourselves together by these vows, and the bond is made by your deep love for each other. It's a bond that ties, but does not bind, and it is sealed by your love, and the love that everyone here has for you, both as individuals and as a couple. This handfast symbolises that together you're so much stronger than you are individually. You have to remember that you're not handcuffed together by force, Neither is it a sailor's knot that will never slip, because the making or the breaking of your union lies in your hands. So may it sit lightly and pleasantly upon you as you walk through life, hand in hand, mind with mind, and heart with heart. So I am now going to remove the hand fast and your, your oathing stone, and we'll replace it with the everyday symbol of your love and your commitment, your wedding rings. as one. So 
and therefore it gives me great delight to ask everybody to celebrate that you're indeed very married. Yay! Yay. after they made those lovely vows to each other would be to have a wee drink. <laughs> I mean, you can take the boy out of Scotland. <laughs> He's very classy as well, so it's a little bottle of Moe. Thank you very much. So we're going to use a Scottish quaff. Thank you. 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 Thank you.